We'll title this, Don't Do Dumb Things. So let's go through this one. A semi-truck collides with a car with a force of 5,000 newtons. The semi-truck has a mass of 2,000 kilograms and the car has a mass of 500 kilograms. Let's go ahead and draw a picture. So we have step one, draw a picture. So let's take a look. Uh, what force did the car exert on the uh, semi-truck at impact? Let's go through our step. Okay, so we want to find the, for this first one, the force of the car on the truck. Uh, what are our givens? Okay, we know that the uh, force of the collision, I'll just say that, or the force of the truck. Let me just rewrite that for a moment. So we know that, or what's given is the force, and I'll call the force of a crash as a normal force. Force normal on the car from the truck is 5,000 newtons. And let's say our relationships here. Our relationships, and that'll be Newton's third law. Third law, for every force there's an equal and opposite uh, force in the other direction of the same type. So actually right here we can end up saying we know that the if we have the force um, normal on the car from the truck is going to be equal to the force normal of the truck on the car. That may actually answer the question right away. Let's go ahead and solve that. And what we're looking for in the first place is the force of the car on the truck right there. So we know that force normal of car on truck equals force normal truck on car. So it's equal to 5,000 newtons. There we go. It's 5,000 newtons. What was the acceleration of the truck when it hit the car? Hold on a moment there. Hey, so if we're looking for acceleration, we know the relationship is the acceleration is equal to the net force divided by mass. And in this case, we still know that the force is 5,000 newtons, and the mass of the truck is 2,000 kilograms. It gives us an acceleration. I'll say probably to the left. The force on that truck looks like it's slowing it down, or to the left it is going to be 2.5 meters per second squared. Okay. How much did the car accelerate when it was hit? Well, we know that's the same relationship. A is equal to F net divided by m, and we know that force is the same as here, it's 5,000 newtons. Not the same force, it's the opposite direction, but it's the same magnitude. Um, and the magnitude, sorry, the mass of the car is 500 kilograms, so we know its acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. I'm going to say on this one it's to the right, because we can see that the car is slowing down. Last step, if the action statement is the semi-truck exerts a force on the car, what is the reaction statement? Well, remember, we can uh, replace the word action with force. Okay, so if I know that the force, let's see, the semi-truck semi is exerting a force on the car, what is the uh, reaction force? Is the car exerting a force on the truck? So the car exerts... force on truck.